For all you trivia buffs out there, the most sparsely populated country in Europe is Iceland. And I'm pleased to be joined by Macrina Peral, fresh off her trip to Iceland. This was no vacation. Let's talk about what you did there. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Um, it was a charity trek in support of Cystic Fibrosis Canada uh, to raise funds and awareness for a cause that has had some really great triumphs over the last little while, but we still very much have a lot of work to do. You recently celebrated a year anniversary of a very important uh, milestone in your life, your husband's life, and your kids' lives. Tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. The day we boarded the plane for Iceland, you know, uh, you had some time to spend at Pearson <laughs> while we were waiting, and one of my memories popped up that uh, a year ago on the 18th was when Tricaptor was approved by Health Canada. So it was a life-changing day for about 90% of the CF population. How are your kids doing? Really, really well. They're doing really beautifully, actually. Um, since being on the medication, brayden has been on it uh, since September. Kira's been on it since February. And, you know, Clark, the jug really does do everything it promises. I'm really, really happy to hear that. Yeah. Back to your trip. We're going to plaster your screen with Iceland photos. <laughs> uh, pretty amazing landscapes. Yes. Bring us through the over 100 kilometers you trekked in less than a week. Yeah, it was... Um, it was really intense terrain. You know, they prep you for the trip and they say, you know, if you've done other trips before, that's great. Nothing can prepare you for the, the, the landscape and the, and the terrain that you're about to um, navigate. And like truer words could never be said. Um, really, really steep inclines with, you know, loose, you know, shards of volcanic matter really steep descents as well with, you know, very little support other than your mental fortitude and, and the feet on your, like, you know, on your body. It's, um, you know, you get to the top and you think, oh, I can take a breather and you get to this beautiful flat terrain with gorgeous scenery and the wind literally just pelts your face. Um, some pretty great photos of the wind burn at the end of one day and you know, the matter that comes at you, like it's little bits of, of sand. It's, a, it's the most, you know, volcanic region you can find and it doesn't disappoint. You know, there's lava fields and beautiful landscape that has been washed away by um, water as a result of uh, eruptions and glaciers melting and all that exciting stuff. So it was beautiful. There were beautiful moments. There were some really challenging moments, a lot of really cold moments. Um, but that is life with CF. Some moments are really beautiful, some moments are really challenging, but one of the commonalities in the whole thing was that, you know, what we found was we were surrounded by really great people that literally held us up, you know, throughout the journey. What perspective did this give you on your full battle against CF? Oh, <laughs> um, I would say that, you know, navigating this journey the guide sat us down the night before we left and he said, we're going to do this. It's going to be incredible. It might not end up being the journey you signed up for because we don't know what we're going to come across when we get, you know, where we're going sometimes. But we will get through it and we will get through it together and we'll be stronger because of it. And it was, it was completely true. There were times when we planned on going one way and the terrain and, and the weather and whatever required us to go a different way. There were times when we thought we were almost there, but we took a detour because there was another beautiful site not that far. And you don't come all that way not to take that extra half a kilometer to see something incredible. So it's not always the journey you planned, but it's the journey you make it. And that was my biggest takeaway from the, from, from the trek. Over the years of knowing you on a professional level, you have been pushing for Tricafta. Now that that's been approved, what's the next push? Great question. Um, so Tricafta speaks to 90% of the CF population, and, which is wonderful. But there's a huge portion of that 90% that don't have access yet because of the government restrictions that are currently in place. So there's Federal or provincial? Or uh, both? Provincial at this point, okay. yeah. Um, the province, uh, sorry, the feds approved the drug for use in Canada and it's up to the individual provinces to fund it in their own, in their own way, right? So at this point in time, 90% of the folks with CF um, can take the medication, but they can't access because of reasons like they're not old enough, they're not considered to be sick enough, um, you know, and there's some red tape around private insurance. 
So in the next week or so, uh, I noticed that you had MPP Fidelian mm -hmm. here. The next week or so, we're expecting um, some announcements coming down that will significantly impact um, that 90% that um, and hoping to remove the threshold of, of health so that people can access it. Then there's the 10% of people that Trikafta doesn't speak to. And those are the folks that we climb mountains for at this point in time. Um, it's nice to be able to um, switch gears personally. As a mom, it's not about my kids anymore. My kids are, are accessing the drug. And you know, I love the idea of advocating for other people. It takes the personal out of it. And actually, I find that I have more energy for it. So um, we're fighting for that 90%. Um, research needs to be done. A medication needs to be developed so that all parents, caregivers, uh, people living with CF get to, you know, take a deep breath the way Steph and I have. Well, Karina, thank you for coming in. God bless you and your family. Thank you so Happy much. Happy Canada Day. Thank you as well. Okay. That is Macrina Peral sharing her struggles and her triumphs against cystic fibrosis. Mm -hmm.